Hello, uh, good evening, Miss Herrera. Welcome to the video conference. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm good fine. Evening. Thank you. I am waiting for the class. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. So we're going to start in, in, in a few minutes. Uh, we're going to start at eight o'clock, okay? There are, um, we have six minutes till that moment, okay? That's I will okay. be, I will be just setting some things here in my computer and I'll be back. Muy bien. Good evening, Patricia. <clears throat> Good evening, Ileana. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine, I'm too. <laughs> I'm very tired. Oh. It's uh, all day tired. <laughs> no, sí, me imagino. A stressful day. I'm sorry. Sí, estresante. Estoy aquí. Sí, estresante. ¿Cómo va, ¿Cómo va en la sección 4? Ya voy por... Todo el día, todo el fin de semana no pude trabajar en eso, pero ya casi la termino. Ajá. Yo, yo ya terminé la 4. Ajá. Yo no me acuerdo Son en qué parte... Tres... Ajá. No me acuerdo en qué parte voy, pero ya me falta poquito. Uh -huh. son, son tres ejercicios nada más, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá. No, sí, creo que sí. Sí, 4.6, 4.8 y 4.13, si no me equivoco. Ajá, voy por la 4.10, 11, algo así. Ajá. Eh, la sección cita esa de... Sí. Mire, voy a poner un ventilador que aquí en Zacatecoluca, aquí en La Paz, estoy en San Juan Noral. Es tri, hiper, súper caliente y estoy Ay, encerrada para, por el sonido. Es que antes lo, tenía las clases afuera, ¿se fijó? Sí, sí, sí. Se fijaba que antes estaba afuera. Sí. Ay, pero mucho problema con los perros, hijos, mi esposo, digamos. Así es que voy a traer un cortito que me lo quitan. Sí, me tocó encerrarme aquí. Y este cortito nadie, nadie viene aquí. Ajá. Ya vengo, permiso. Ay. algo me llega Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Laura. Uh, good evening, Miss. Welcome to the video conference. Okay.
Okay, uh, good evening for everyone. Uh, the people that are just connecting. Uh, welcome to the video conference of this week. Um, tonight, we're going to start the section number four. Uh, we're going to be working on some exercises. Also, we're going to be watching some videos. Uh, the videos you have in, in the platform. Good evening, sir. Welcome. Thanks. So, um, let me see someone. So, ah, before to start, I would like to know if someone has any, any question for me about the platform, about any exercise, uh, exercise um, that you haven't complete or something like that. I don't know if you have any doubt, you could tell me. And I will be trying to solve those, those things right now, okay? Ms. Herrera. No question. No questions. Okay. Well. Okay. Well. Um, guys, give, give me just one minute. I will try to connect my computer. Okay. Buenas noches, compañeros. ¿Alguien ha podido hacer eh, la respuesta del 4.6? No, creo que sí, porque ya las pasé. Y a mí todo me sale malo. Uh, Mr. Giovanni, uh, sí? you, you, you're mentioning that uh, you had some problems in the exercises 4.6. Um, sí. I don't know if you, if you can share um, your screen uh, and let's see what is happening. And we're going to try to solve it. Mm, okay. In WhatsApp is, is okay. Um, okay, you can share that uh, there in the in the chat. It's okay, don't worry. <clears throat> okay, uh, let me see. Oh, okay, okay. I, I see what's the problem. What the problem is? Um, ah, so no le tengo que poner signo de interrogación. Yeah, the thing is, okay, yes, that that's one of the problems here. In in um, the exercise number one, um, <clears throat> you have to delete the marker, the question marker. Okay. Okay. Try to yeah. do it that way. The thing is, uh, you have it there at the end. Uh, so in the blank space you have, uh, at the end you can find the, the, the question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was the problem. Thank you, Tisha. It's all, thank you. It's okay, okay, that, that's all. Very good. Thank you. Uh, so we're going to be working um, in the exercise, uh, no, I mean, uh, we're going to see first the uh, lesson objective that is 4.0. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to share my screen right now here. Okay, here we have, it says in these sessions, participants will learn vocabulary for describing people. Okay, um, first of all, we're going to watch this video and then uh, with this vocabulary, we're going to be using it in a conversation. 
please pay attention. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, please pay attention to this video. Okay, uh, take a look of all the uh, words that we're going to find here. And then uh, we are going to be working in trios. So I'm going to reproduce it right now. Can you listen to the audio? Can you hear the audio? No, yes, teacher. No. no. No, teacher. To the video, no. Oh, okay. Only, only your audio. Okay, let's see now. Hi, welcome to. What about now? Yes. 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 Okay. okay, very good. So pay attention to this video and then we're going to be discussing about it. Hi, welcome to section nine. In this section, you will learn vocabulary to describe people. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. Hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, Handsome, good looking, pretty. Height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Okay, there we have the vocabulary. All these um, are called adjectives. Long brown hair. So, um, we can, uh, we can use all these adjectives in different expressions. Uh, and also we can use all those adjectives in conversations, like for describing people. Um, in a conversation, um, we can, when we're talking with someone, uh, we can be describing someone maybe that is not in our conversation, but we want to refer to that person. Um, so, the activity that you're going to be developing um, is create a conversation where we're going to use um, some of the adjectives because we, we won't use um, uh, all the adjectives here. We're going just to select some of them and then uh, we're going to include it in our conversation and um, you're going to be developing that conversation where you're going to be participating uh, here in the general video conference uh, with the with the product or that's mean the, the, the end of the conversation that you're going to create um, per group. Uh, as I said before, you're going to be working in trios. Okay, is it clear the instruction? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Uh, we're going to start with that. Uh, if you want, you can take a picture uh, in order to remember it, or you can take a screenshot if you want. You decide. Currently, we are 12 participants. Um, I will be visiting you in each of the breakout rooms uh, in order to see um, the development of that uh, conversation. If you have any question, you can use uh, the question mark that you are going to find uh, here in, in, in the breakout rooms in order to call me and I will be assisting you as soon as possible, okay? So let's uh, go to the breakout rooms.
Uh, Miss Patricia, I think you are muted. Miss Vanegas, you are muted too. And Mr. Mejia, can you please uh, open your microphone? Mr. Mejia. You're welcome, Miss. Uh, Mary? Yeah. Mary Vanegas? Hola, hola. Hola. Eh. Okay, uh, Miss Herrera and Miss, Miss Vanegas. Uh, Mr. Mejia says that uh, he cannot open uh, his microphone. So if you want to communicate with him, you can use the chat. Oh, no, he is driving. So no, no, don't, don't use the chat because he won't read it. Um, but you can include it in the conversation and maybe later he can participate in the general video conference. I don't know, Mr. if you agree with that. Oh, well. uh, you disculpa, teacher. Uh, disculpa, teacher. Okay. Tell me. Entonces, una pregunta. Mm -hmm. Las oraciones que vamos a hacer utilizando estos adjetivos, las vamos a hacer en el chat de, uh, de la mis, clase. Mis Herrera, las vamos a, you you ¿sí? are not you are not going to create a sentences. What you are going to do is create a conversation. A conversations where, where you and Miss uh, Vanegas are going to participate. Um, la actividad consiste en crear un, un, una conversación en inglés donde nosotros podamos utilizar todos, uh, no todos, bueno, algunas palabras del vocabulario que este, nosotros podamos incluir en, incluir en ellos um, dentro de esa conversación. Cuando tengamos esa conversación, lo que vamos a hacer nosotros es irla a desarrollar en, uh, en la videoconferencia general. Ok, eh, entiendo que es prácticamente como una descripción que se va a hacer hacia, en este caso, Mr. Patricia. Uh -huh. eh, sí, eh, en la conversación ustedes deciden que si quieren hacer uh, una descripción sobre cada uno de ustedes o ustedes pueden hablar eh, sobre alguien más. No necesariamente alguien real, sino pueden imaginarlo. Eh, usted le puede estar contando a mi, a mi Herrera eh, una descripción sobre este X persona y pues que ella lo va imaginando y de la misma manera ella puede ir preguntando este, o, o, o identificando. No sé si me voy a entender. Sí. Ok, excelente. Sí, claro, Entonces, una conversación usándolo. Sí. Okay, very good. So uh, let's start working. Entonces, ¿cómo lo vamos a hacer? Vamos a escribir a otra persona. Ah, podemos hacer como que si nos encontramos. Hello, Mary. Eh, how are you? Eh, entonces, eh, usted me contesta y luego yo le puedo preguntar si conoce a Jesús. Y usted me... Hate. Sí. Okay. Que el autoestima ante todo. <laughs> you are... What? Short, medium. fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, and very tall. <clears throat> Muy alta. Esas son las opciones para que usted escoja una como esta. Yo. Uh -huh. I am short. Uh, I am short, man. <laughs> ok. Ahí está la imagen. Vale, ¿quién sigue? Sí. Next. Eh, I tried. Ok. Describe myself. Uh, my hair is short, curved hair, colocha. Okay. Age, middle of age, uh, looks very pretty. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's good. Wait, wait, uh, 
Okay. Uh, I I am long hair, long brown hair. Okay. I young. Very young. <laughs> I look pretty, yes. and oh. my way, my height is is medium height. Ni pequeña ni ya. Perfect. <laughs> Excelente. ¿Cómo es la pronunciación, teacher, de hate, hate? Es hate, hate. Eh, you mean hair? Hey. No, el, del, about el, el oh, de hate. La estatura. La estatura. Ah, okay. Es hate. Ah, altura. Hate. 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 Parecida como a hate, hate de odio, ¿verdad, teacher? Something like that. But it's like well, um, with a long mm -hmm. hate at the beginning, like hate. hate. The other one is hate. 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 Court. Okay. Thank you, teach. Can you think this uh, of three more words? Of three more. Mm. Uh, teacher, how do you say uso anteojos? Glass. Uh, um, you can say I, like I use glasses. Glasses. I use glasses. I use glasses. Okay. I use glasses. Mm. Um, me too. You too. <laughs> me too. Okay. Use glass. Okay. You too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Okay. Me too. <clears throat> Get there. About looks, other mo other expressions, I think is ugly. Ugly. Oh, ugly. Ugly, handsome, good looking, pretty. Del peso no mencionaba en la apariencia. La talla. No, solo la estatura. I try to descri describe my mother. Who are you? Tiene que ser how are they? how all day, no, how are they? Are they? Uh -huh. Uh -huh, correct. Ahí que le puede preguntar y, y Liliana otra vez. Yeah. Liliana le pregunta, how all are they? Are they? Uh -huh. Pepe. 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 Y ahí usted contesta, Giovanni are... is. Uh -huh. Ajá, para hacerlo más larga. Giovanni uh -huh. is... 17 years old. 17 years old. And Diego? 15. Diego is 15. 15 y 16 tienen. 17. Ah, 17. Ah, sí, 17 me dijo. Y el otro niño tiene 15. Diego sí. is 15. 15. Sí, y si quiere le puedo preguntar yo ahí de una vez. What do they look like? O sea, ¿cómo son ellos? Uh -huh. What 
What do they look like? Quiero ver cómo decía aquí. Y puedo decir. Y cabal puedo ocupar. But Giovanni is. A cabal. Giovanni is. Puede hablar de la altura de ellos. Mm, Se puede con esa pregunta. Sí. Las alturas. Porque como es apariencia, puede ocupar. Eh, Ah, vaya, vale. entonces sería Giovanni es nunca. Sí. Cabal. Sí. Estamos en silencio todos. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hi. Okay, what have you been up to? Uh, we have the, the conversation ready. Really? Okay, very yes. good. So uh, we're going to be back in uh, about one minute in the general video conference. So in there, you're going to be participating with your conversation, okay? Okay. Okay. So, see you there. Bye. Thank you, too. Okay, bye. Hello. Okay. Okay. Hello. Welcome back. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Giovanni, only only uh, finish the question and, and I'm in improvisation. <laughs> La respuesta. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice improvisar, teacher? <laughs> Improvise. I mean, provide the, the answer, Giovanni. Only finish the, the question. Okay. Okay. Um, we're going to be participating in this um, in this development of the uh, conversations. And um, I don't know who is going to be the first one. Uh, I don't know if he, there is any group that wants to participate uh, as a volunteer. Mary, uh, Mary Vanegas is lista. Seamos las primeras para salir. Okay, very good. That, that's a good attitude, Miss. Well, very good. Okay, amazing. Mary? Hola, hola. Sí, solo que quería estar este, segura en el orden que íbamos a estructurar nuestra descripción. Eh, yo, so, yo le hago las, las preguntas acerca de, de... Yo empiezo, yo empiezo con el diálogo. Ajá, pero a lo que me he quedado un, en cierta duda es que si usted me va a preguntar para yo describirle a Jesús Mejía, o usted lo va a hacer. Good evening. Este, yo Good evening, le voy a preguntar acerca de Jesús y usted me lo va a describir. Ah, perfecto. Ajá. Empezamos, teacher. Yes, so go ahead. Oh, okay. Hello, Mary. How are you? Hello, Mr. Patricia. I am fine. And you? Fine, thank you. Hey, do you know Jesus Mejia or English classmates? Yes, he is tall. Uh, I have. Dime one second, please. Awesome. I think that she had some problems. Uh, she mentioned something like that. Uh, we're going to wait one minute, Miss. 
let's see what happens. If not, we're uh, we are going to change uh, another group maybe is going to participate and then you are going to do it uh, uh, at the end. Okay, Miss Herrera? Okay. Okay, to me, teacher. Okay, uh, very good. Miss Fatima and Fatima and Diana, you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, hello, Diana. What does she look like? She is a very beautiful woman. I should say. Oh, is she the one that has ging ginger hair? Yes, she is. And don't forget, she is very attractive. Finish teacher. Okay, very good, excellent. Uh, you did an amazing conversation and, and I like it. Um, well, congratulations for, uh, for you, for, for each member of this group. Uh, let's see the other group. I don't know if someone else is ready. Okay. Miss Mergar. I don't understand the instruction. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, of this activity, but we, we try, we try. No, we try con Jacqueline y, y, con, ay, okay. y con Jimmy. Okay, try to do it uh, as the way you you understand. Okay. I mean, uh, you understood. Uh, good night, uh, Jacqueline. How are good you? Good night, uh, Adriana. I'm fine. And you? I'm fine too. Hello, Jimmy. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, I don't know you, but can you describe you, Jacqueline, please? Yes, uh, I introduce myself. I describe me. Uh, I am long brown hair. My age is young. Uh, I use glasses. Uh, I... Permítame. Okay. Uh, I look very pretty and my height is medium height and my age is young, very young. Okay, thank you. I want to meet you in a person soon. What about you, Jimmy? Can you describe you, like yourself? Good night, everybody. Uh, I am uh, short high. Uh, I am uh, uh, excuse me. I am a very short man. I am most. Uh, I am uh, middle age. Uh, that's all. That's all. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, very good, excellent, excellent. You did a, a, a good job there because you are using uh, so um, many words uh, of the slide award taking previously, and, and that's good. Okay, congratulations. Uh, Thank you. you guys. Okay. Uh, let's see who else, Miss Giovanni. You ready? Mr. Giovanni? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, so go ahead. Okay. Um, hi, guys. It's nice to see you. Liliana, I hear you have a son. Liliana, I think you are muted.
Liliana. Liliana, your microphone is off. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I, I start again. Hi guys, it's nice to see you. Liliana, I hear you have a song. Yes, I had a, a boy. What does she look what does he look like? Uh, your name is Gadiel. Uh, she is uh, handsome, very handsome. Oh. She is uh, five years old. Okay. What about you, Giovanni? I have uh, two boys. His names, uh, their names is uh, Giovanni and Diego. Okay. How old are they, Giovanni? Giovanni is, is 17 years old and Diego 15 years old. Oh, what do they look like? Giovanni is pretty tall and Diego is medium tall, medium high. Okay, really nice. Well, uh, you have a, a children? Yes, I have a daughter. Uh, his name, her name is Mariana. She's Three and a three and six months or three and three three yes three and let me see three and a half three years and old. nine months years old. Oh. Three what does she months. look like? What does she look like? She has curly hair, but his hair is color black. It's really black. It's pretty black. He's she perdón. She's Really, really smiling. She loves the cats and she loves Plaza Sesamo. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see you guys. Thank you so much. Nice to see you. Okay, bye. Bye. Hey, very good. Excellent. Uh, you, did, you did an amazing um, conversation. Uh, very good. So just remember that when we're talking about plurals. Uh, we're going to use the uh, verb, in this case, the verb to be uh, according to the, to the, sub, the I mean, the, the pronoun that we are using. Uh, if we use we, we're going to use are. So remember, just use plurals with plurals. Uh, just that, okay. Uh, for the rest, everything has been okay. Um, I don't know if someone is missing, Miss uh, Vanegas and, and Miss Herrera. I mean, Miss Vanegas. Okay. Ready? Okay, very good. Miss Herrera, so go ahead. Miss Mary? Yeah. Ah, okay. Let's begin. <laughs> bueno, hello, Mary. How are you? Hello, Mr. Patricia. I am fine. Thank you. And you? Well, uh, hey, do you know Jesus Mejia or English class classmates? How does he look like? Yes, he has black hair and it's tall black A's in or the classmate. And you, Mr. Patricia, what do you de describe yourself? Um, well, I am straight hair, short, and middle age, but uh, about Jesus Mejia, she doesn't come to class today. And then, uh, and you, Mary, um, how okay. does, how does you look like? Okay, I am very flandy, a little tall, and I haven't grown eggs, 
my hair is black. Nice to meet you. Oh, great. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Okay, Finish very good. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Congratulations, girls. Um, well, we're going to go to the next sessions that is uh, 4.3. Uh, and we're going to see the lesson objective that we had for that for those exercises. Um, give me a second. I'm going to share my screen and let's start working. Okay, here we have, this is the lesson objective for 4.3. And it says in these sessions, participants will listen to conversations between two people describe another person. A adjectives of appearance will be practiced. Um, as you see, we're going to be developing our own conversation. Um, the video that we're going to watch right now, uh, it's about a, the use of this adjective. Uh, the conversation has a title uh, and it says, she's very tall, she's very tall. Uh, we're going to pay attention. We're going to listen to the pronunciation uh, of some of the words, some of the vocabulary that we have in this previous um, session, okay? So pay attention to it. Let's listen the the audio and then we're going to be practicing. Ready? Ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes. So pay attention to this video. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation between two people describing another person. Adjectives of appearance will be practiced. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes. Her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. And Randy? Yes. Okay, uh, there we find uh, in this conversation that Emily and Randy are talking about someone else. They are, they are describing someone else. Can you tell me or can you identify what are those adjectives that uh, they are using during these conversations? Um, Ms. Herrera, can you mention uh, two of them? Very tall. Okay, tall is one of them. Oh, oh. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, very good. That's another one. What else? Hair. Beautiful, beautiful hair. hair. Beautiful hair. Beautiful. Okay, beautiful red hair. What else? What else can we find there? Just that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, gorgeous. Uh -huh. Just that, right? Yes. I, I have a question, teacher, about, yes. about what's the meaning of gorgeous? Uh, gorgeous yes. is, sorry? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh -huh. What's the meaning of? Uh, okay. Uh, gorgeous is um, kind of similar to um, beautiful. It's like, like uh, fantastic, something like that. Grandiosa, fantastic. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, any other question? Any other question? No? Okay. Uh, well, this is the conversations we have. Uh, as you see, you create your own one. And you include many of the adjectives here uh, that we use, that we use for appearance. Um, let's see this, um, this exercise 
uh, that has a lesson objectives, a, a, a solely exercise here. See, and it says in these sessions, you will learn how to describe as an answer questions about appearance. Um, in this exercise, uh, we have an instruction and it says, write questions to match this statement. This is the exercise that we're discussing previous with, with Mr. Uh, Giovanni, you remember? I, I think some of you have completed and, and that's okay, uh, but we're going to see it. Uh, to complete this um, exercise, uh, we need to watch the video about describing people. Um, these are just general rules, general rules to, uh, or that we need to know uh, about how we use words for age, hate, um, or well, in this case, adjectives for appearance. Uh, let's pay attention to this, and then we're going to be discussing. And you can uh, you can ask me if you have any question. Okay. Okay, the video is titled, um, What Does She Look Like? If you can listen, please just let me know. Hi, in this lesson, you will learn how to describe, ask and answer questions about appearance. Let's go over the audio program. Notice the questions they use to ask for the information needed. Describing people. General appearance. What does she look like? She's tall with red hair. She's gorgeous. Does he wear glasses? Yes, and he has a beard. Age. How old is she? She's about 32. She's in her 30s. How old is he? He's in his 20s. Height. How tall is she? She's 1 meter 88. She's six feet two. How tall is he? He's quite short. Hair. How long is her hair? It's medium length. What color is his hair? It's dark brown. It's light brown. He has brown hair. When you want to know how someone is physically, we use what look like. For age-related questions, we use how old. For height, we use how tall. The rest of the question will depend on who you're talking about. People. Okay, um, here we have this, um, this slide where we can find uh, two questions for each, um, for each group here. And the first one is about general appearance. Um, as you know, and we want to know uh, about how, how someone looks like, uh, we use these kind of questions. Um, the way we're going to answer it depends uh, with the, the person or people we're talking. Um, the, some, some of the answers that we have for it, it could be like she's told with red hair using using the simple present with verb V. Uh, because in this case, we are just describing someone. Uh, we are uh, telling how that person or how that group of people looks like. Then uh, we have another question that we can use for us to someone um, about, well, general appearance, as uh, we said at the beginning. Does he wear glasses? So in, in this case, we are a little bit specific. Why? Because we're asking for uh, something specific, uh, a characteristic, okay? And the possible questions are going to be short. So uh, that, that person that we're talking about um, can answer like yes or not. In this case, the, the possible answer that we have for, it, for these questions is yes, and he has a verb. Um, in this case, the person is answering with short questions plus extra information. That can be possible in this type of questions, okay? We can add extra information if we want. 
Then we have the other group that is uh, about age. We want to uh, refer to or want to ask about age. We have two possible answers for answering that. The first one is, I mean, for uh, asking that. The first one is, how old is she? We're talking about age. Or we can say, like, how old is he? When the, if you notice, uh, uh, at the end, we're changing the, um, the pronoun, like she, he. So all we can talk about a different uh, group of people. If we want, we can use plural, if we want to use it in that way. Uh, the possible answers uh, will depend to the uh, person or the group of people where we are, uh, when we, that we are talking, okay? So the possible uh, answer for those questions, the, the ones that we have here are, she is about 30, 32, okay? She is in uh, her 30s. In the next questions, the possible answer could be like, he is in his 20s. They're not saying the exactly uh, age, but saying like a range. Sometimes people don't like to share uh, that, kind, that kind of details with, with um, someone. Uh, so for that reason, uh, they tend to use like range of, of ages, like uh, 30s, like 20s. So we can use it in that way, instead of saying a real age. Um, another thing here, uh, or, or the other group of questions that we have here uh, are about to hide. Uh, the possible questions that we can take from, from these uh, are like, how tall is she? How tall is uh, he? How tall are they? The, that's depend uh, how we are going to ask that kind of question. Uh, the possible answers will depend on the questions. If we're talking about a, a girl or if we're talking about a boy, uh, we're going to use she or we're going to use he. Um, the ones that we have here, it says she is okay, one meter 88 or uh, she is six feet two. Okay. Or we can also say like uh, he is quite short. Uh, he is quite um, tall. Uh, he is medium height. I mean height. Uh, and also, we can create uh, questions about hair. If we want to to be more specific, we want to know something about hair. We can we can ask like, how long is hair hair? Uh, possible answers could be like it's. Medium, medium length, or we can also ask about the color if we want to do in that way. Uh, what color is his hair? We're going to develop an activity right now, and we're going to create one uh, question for each of the groups here. Um, you decide what kind of questions, but it must be related to each of the groups. Uh, the first one is going to be about general appearance. The second one is going to be about age, the third one is going to be about height, and also the last one is going to be related to the hair. You decide what, what uh, kind of questions we want to create. Uh, Ms. Melgar, do you have any question? I I'm seeing that you have raised yes. your hand. Tell yes, teacher. In, in, in El Salvador, we don't use matters or fit. We use uh, it. Now, in this case, we use the, the uh, matters instead of feet. Uh -huh. We use matters. Uh, how I say my height in, in okay, centimeter? Uh, we can just leave it with, uh, like, like in these examples here, like one meter 88, just that. Or if you want to uh, do it like long, you can you you can complete it. Okay, thank you. 
Okay, so uh, let's start working. One questions for each of the groups here. General appearance, age, height, and also hair. It's going to be individually. So let's start working. Uh, you're going to send each of the questions in the uh, WhatsApp group there. So in that way, I, I will be checking who's working, who's not. Is it clear Teacher, my instruction? I have uh, a, yes, yes, but, uh, but I have a, a question about the instruction. It's okay. one question for each person. No, for each group. For each group, uh, we're we're going to create a question about general appearance. What about uh -huh, in 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 every wood in, in every group? Uh, one of general appearance. What a what one of age? Yes. Yes, that that's what I'm referring to. And At we end, decide. We're... Tell me. <laughs> we decide. A, what question is for one uh, classmate? No, you are not going to be asking to someone. You are going okay. to create another just to uh, work on this activity uh, in order just to practice. Okay, just for oh. practicing. And that's all. You are going to okay. create the, the, the question. You are going to send it to the WhatsApp group. We are not going to be participating like in the, the previous activity. Okay, okay. This, this, is, this is because of the time because we are going to finish at at nine. We have just nine minutes less. Hello. Um, hello, sir. Hey, sir, do you have any questions? No, no le, no le oía muy bien, teacher. Me había sacado del, del video oh. hasta ahorita voy recuperando. Okay. Ah, uh, don Manuel, este, simplemente, um, les estaba dando indicaciones de trabajar en este, una actividad. Um, lo que íbamos a hacer era crear una pregunta para cada uno de los grupos que tenemos aquí. Eh, íbamos a estar hablando, bueno, en, en, en la pregunta nosotros tenemos que relacionarla sobre el general appearance. Tenemos que hacer una pregunta para age. Nosotros queremos preguntar sobre age. Uh, una sobre height y una sobre hair. Una pregunta para cada uno de los grupos. Eso era lo que vamos a hacer. Al terminar, cuando ya tengamos las cuatro preguntas, las enviamos al grupo de WhatsApp. Eh, ahí voy a estar revisando yo eh, luego, voy a estar dando un feedback sobre este, 
las preguntas que ustedes creen. Eso sería toda la actividad. Y con eso vamos a finalizar. Entonces voy a hacerla ahorita en el cuaderno y en este grupo con usted me va a tocar. Hola. La voy a hacer ahorita en el cuaderno y en qué grupo con usted me va a tocar. Eh, no, este, don, don Manuel, lo tiene que enviar al grupo de WhatsApp, el que tenemos habilitado de inglés corporativo. Cuando ya tenga las cuatro preguntas, usted envía una captura, este, si lo hace en su teléfono una fotografía, si lo hace en su cuaderno, o simplemente las va creando usted con el texto este, de, eh, que le permite eh, en la parte de, de digital de WhatsApp, o lo, lo puede hacer de esa, de esa manera. Bueno, gracias. Ok, don Manuel. Muy bien, uh, ¿ya terminamos? ¿Hay alguien que ya tenga una pregunta? Solo este, dos, tres participaciones y vamos a dar por finalizada la videoconferencia de este día. I'm finished, teacher. Ok, uh, so please, tell me. Um, what questions do you create for this activity? So, which questions do you have right now? Okay, number one, how old your mother, how old your mother is? Okay, very good. That, number really cool. two, how tall is your husband or wife or wife if you have a wife? How long is your hair and what does the president look like? Okay, excellent. Very good. Th those are good questions. Thank you. Uh, Miss Peñate, well done. I mean, congratulations. Me, teacher. Okay, Miss, so go ahead. Um, uh, what does he look like? He's very tall. How old is he? He's middle age. How tall is he? He's one meter seventy. And what color is his hair? He has red hair. Very good, excellent. Thank you. Okay, congratulations. Um, someone else, and we're going to finish with with that person. Any volunteer? Any other volunteer? I have two questions. Okay. Miss Herrera, so go ahead. How old is your son? Mm -hmm. He is 17 years old. Okay. What, what does he look like? Um, he is tall, handsome, okay. <laughs> and he <laughs> my son. <laughs> is your son and, okay? Um, <laughs> okay, you. Okay, okay, you're talking about your son. Also, also very good, excellent. So um, we're going to finish with this, um, guys. And, and uh, for tomorrow, maybe you're finishing uh, the rest of, of the questions. You can do it later if you want. Uh, but uh, you have to send it. Uh, you have to send it tonight, tonight or tomorrow before 12 in order to check uh, all, the, all those questions. And that's solved for. Uh, that activity. So uh, this is the end of this video conference and I hope to see you tomorrow. And congratulations to everybody. So some of you has been participating, that's good because you are practicing your English and, and we are uh, reaching the purpose of this course. 
Uh, remember, uh, as I said, every, every conference at the end, work on the exercises that we have on the platform, Inglés Corporativo, because uh, remember that if you want to have the diploma, we need at least the 80% of all the exercises, okay? You can try it uh, as many times as you want uh, and try to, to, to get a 10, okay? Uh, I, I know that some of you has already complete till the section number five, and, and that's good. Uh, they are just planning to solve the, the final test, okay? So see you tomorrow and blessings to all of you. Bye-bye. Good night to everybody. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Take care, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody.